Hey guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to do dual displays on any of the newer Macs and for this video I'm going to show you on my Mac Mini. So the first thing you need to know are the difference between Mini DisplayPort and Mini DVI. On the newer Macs they use Mini DisplayPort and on the older Macs they use Mini DV such, or DVI such as the, the 2007 iMac that I have or had. Now the newer computers do not have Mini DisplayPort, they have Thunderbolt but basically, uh, Mini DisplayPort and Thunderbolt are the same exact connector. So therefore, if you buy a Mini DisplayPort connector, it will work with a Thunderbolt device. So now we get down to what do you want to buy when looking for an adapter. Now there's two type of adapters out there. One is called a passive adapter and one is called an active adapter. Now the passive adapter only lets you use one display. So if I have, I have uh, the HDMI adapter from HDMI to DVI, on my Mac Mini right now running the, the center display. So if I have that hooked up and I hook up a passive adapter from Apple, which is basically the one that Apple sells the, the mini display port to DVI, it will not work. You, It doesn't work that way. So you would actually have to go buy an active adapter which will allow you to run two displays. Rocketfish makes an active, active adapter and I actually did go out and buy one. Here it is right here. This is the Mini Display Port to DVI adapter. Uh, this was 25 bucks instead of uh, the Apple's 33 or something, something around those lines. It's, this is the cheaper version here. Um, I was either going to go with this one or the to the HDMI one because if I, because I'm going to switch this adapter out between my, my Mac Mini, my MacBook that's right here. So I could use my MacBook for presentations, and if I was going to get the HDMI one, I'd use that one on my MacBook so I could get the sound through the HDMI and just have an adapter from HDMI to DVI so I could use it on my Mac Mini. This is the one you want to buy. Um, I've seen a line, this is the one people use, so we're going to go ahead and try it out right now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly unbox it so we, so we can see what's in the box. Very plain and simple. There's the box. There's the adapter right here. Alright. There we go. There is the Thunderbolt or Mini Display Port, and we got the DVI. It says Rocketfish right there. So, uh, Let's go ahead and get this all hooked up. All right, so there's my Mac Mini. Um, I was gonna get back there and plug this connector in. The, uh, the connection for, or the Thunderbolt port, I believe is between the HDMI and the last USB 3.0 port. So it should just be able to plug right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and I'll uh, set you up to look at the screens. All right, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my 24-inch BenQ monitor with this Acer uh, 20 or it's either 20-inch or 19-inch display uh, through DVI. I was originally just going to use my gateway display there that's hooked up on my G4 Mac Mini, but that does have speakers in it, and I need speakers on that computer, so I've just gone ahead and decided to use that monitor. Alright guys, so as you saw as the first clip, I just basically plugged in the adapter, uh, both displays flickered, and uh, my secondary screen, the one on the right, did come on. Now actually there has been some time between that clip and this clip now, I've just been messing around just to make sure I got down what uh, the change did. So basically, since you have two displays, um, you can change the, ba the, the, the backgrounds on them separately, so you can have two separate uh, wallpapers. Um, on the secondary display you do have your status bar up along the top. Um, the one thing I wish I could do is I could have two docks on both screens. Uh, I know there's a way to do it but I think it's just only hide, hide only the dock and I have my dock actually on the left side of my main screen and I can't have two I can't have it set up like that. It has to be on the bottom of the screen and I don't like it like that. So um, each display does have its own space, so you can swipe 
in and out between them. You have uh, mission control. So it's basically like having two computers. Um, sorry for that noise, it's my hard drive turning on. Um, and like I said before, I I don't know if I put that clip in or not, but I'm running the stock Mac Mini you get for six hundred dollars with the four gigs of RAM, and I do believe the heart or the video card is integrated on this, so it does the video card uses the four gigs of RAM that are in the system, and I thought that it would actually probably maybe run uh, a little low on RAM because of uh, the extra screen, and as you can see. I have 474 megs, I eat, and I only have um, two programs open. I have my Mail and Chrome. I do clean some memory, and I do get a gig, a little over a gig, clean. But I'm probably gonna have to do a RAM uh, upgrade very soon. All right, so as you can tell behind me, it is up and working. It's just a plug-and-play adapter. And the Mac pretty much takes care of the rest of it. Uh, I do recommend this adapter. It's only 25 bucks, like I said before, and it's a lot cheaper than the Apple adapter. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe, and it'll be much appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video.